What's up everyone? I'm Sean Lay and I'm giving an honest review about computer science at the University of Virginia. I graduated in 2018, last May, and I'm going to be talking to you about how UVA sets up CS, the curriculum, faculty, the difficulty, and the career prospects. Alright, so without further ado, cue intro! So here's a few quick things you should know about me. I graduated last May from the University of Virginia with a computer science degree and it was through the engineering department. So it was a BSCS. Before coming to university, I had no intention of going into CS. I didn't really know what it was. I was first introduced my first semester at UVA and that's how it all got started. At first, I was expecting to become an electrical engineer, even though I had no idea what that was about and didn't take any classes on it. But I took an intro CS class called CS 1010 with an amazing professor who made the material super interesting and enjoyable. And so that's how I got hooked with computer science. I also talked to many upperclassmen students who hosted panels on each major in the engineering department and got a, a taste on the curriculum and career prospects from that. All right, so let's go into the specifics about the curriculum at UVA. So there are actually two CS majors you can get. One is a BA and one is a BS. The BA is through the College of Arts and Sciences and the BS is through the Engineering School. Also, it's just a general CS degree. It's not concentrated in like machine learning or web development. So it's important to understand the difference between the BA and BS CS degrees because they're in different schools and some CS classes overlap but the requirements for the different schools vary heavily. The key takeaways are that the BS, you'll have to be taking general engineering requirements such as physics, chemistry, and applied mathematics. Uh, in the BA CS, you'll be taking classes such as writing and foreign languages to meet the School of Arts and Sciences requirements. The BS CS degree also requires more classes taken within the CS department such as advanced software development, OS, and a couple more classes. This is actually super important because some of the required classes that the BS has to take are insanely difficult and time consuming, so watch out. <coughs> OS. <coughs> so I'm not gonna lie to you, the curriculum for the BS degree, which is in the engineering department, is way more rigorous and time consuming. But in a way, it's good that those classes are required so you get exposure to the different aspects of computer science. But at the same time, some of those classes you probably will hate and might not ever use. Since classes are so difficult, a lot of my peers didn't do side projects. Yes, there were students who did do side projects, but the majority of the students did not and focused solely on classwork because class projects and homework assignments took a very long time. Something I've noticed talking to friends in other universities is that UVA students are very active outside of the classroom. Instead of doing side projects, UVA students will take their free time and invest that into clubs to have fun, let loose, and have a good time. So once you get those requirements out of the way, the more interesting material in computer science will be available for you to take. These are CS electives that concentrate on a specific thing such as computer vision, web design, and the list goes on and on and on. Now I'll say the biggest flaw in the CS department, and actually UVA in general, is class signups. Uh, many times, unless you're a scholar or an athlete, you'll have to compete with everyone else for the same classes. And what makes this process so difficult is that everyone is randomly assigned a time. So the upperclassmen would choose first, and then the third years, second years, and then first years. So even if you plan every single semester until graduation, that schedule will probably not hold up. I'm going to be linking resources you can use to plan your schedule and also see reviews on individual classes and professors. Because the classes you take are very dependent on the professor and the material and the way they teach will influence you greatly. So you want to be researching those. So like I said before, classes really vary by professor. Sometimes you'll be unlucky and you'll have to memorize and regurgitate material and other times um, a professor will be great. and teach you concepts, but then have you apply those concepts to different problems. And sometimes professors can be super extreme. For one of my classes, we would get homework assignments and it was so difficult that the entire class would have to go to the professor's office hours 
And the thing was, the professor didn't even know the answers to that problem because they would just come up with a problem and then not solve it until the end of the week. So you can spend hours on one problem just to have it thrown out and not graded. But it causes you to think and build character, right? The big gateway class that causes people aspiring to be computer scientists to drop would be Program and Data Representation, which is CS2150 at UVA. This class would just throw you into the deep end having to learn C++, data representation, and solving low-level machine problems. But if you soak it up and you pass the class, uh, that's where things become more interesting. A couple other classes that students have to pass are algorithms and computer architecture. And the final class that BSCS students have to take and pass to graduate is OS. And this is typically a fourth year class that people take in the fall. Many actually drop and take OS in the spring. And there have been some students that have not passed OS and not graduated. A typical course CS class like Program and Data Representation, Algo, uh, Computer Architecture will take about 10 hours a week. This is not including lectures, so about 10 hours for homework assignments a week. And of course this varies by how quickly you learn, how comfortable you are with the, how comfortable you are with the languages, and also if you run into any bugs. The biggest advice I can give to you is to go to TA office hours. Most of the times these TAs are undergraduate students that have recently taken the course, so they know a lot. Typically, they're undergraduate students that have just taken the course and done really well in. So definitely lean on them for advice and help. Alright, so shifting gears, we're going to be talking about career prospects coming out of the UVA CS department. So personally, the biggest talking point I had when being interviewed by prospective companies was the projects that I had done in those classes. So definitely project-based classes will be very helpful to you when applying to jobs. Some of these classes include ISA, Advanced Software Development, and Capstone. A big difference between the BSCS and the BACS is that as engineering students, BSCS students have to take Capstone, which is a year-long project working with a nonprofit creating a web-based application for the nonprofit. Typically this is done during the fourth year, so you probably won't be able to talk about it during your recruitment. But if you end up applying for jobs later on in the future, you can definitely lean on this project. As a top public school, I would say that UVA is extremely competitive. Even with clubs at UVA, a lot of the times there'll be application processes or auditions. So that's something that could discourage people from wanting to be involved in a certain club. In terms of competitiveness in academics, I wouldn't say that people are extremely cutthroat and want other students to not succeed. I have joined up with many students in groups where we will share notes, discuss about the material together, and learn from each other. So don't worry about that too much. One of the things that influenced me in becoming a CS major was that first year, first semester, I went to the UVA career fair and so many companies were looking for computer science degrees. So if you are passionate about computer science, you're in luck because there are many prospects for you. Many CS students end up going back to Northern Virginia and DC, um, probably because that's where a lot of students came from. But some end up going to out on the West Coast, Seattle for Amazon, Facebook, and big, com big software companies like that. Now, this is not to say that having a computer science degree at UVA will get you a job, because it won't. Doing well in your academics definitely helps, but after getting through the door, your interview skills will be more critical. So it's important to practice behavioral interviews, and if you want to go strictly into a software development job, make sure you know the technical interview as well, which will include coding questions and will basically help the interviewer learn how your brain functions and problem solves. Every year, UBACS has a student-led class specifically on coding questions, so I would actually highly recommend you to check that out. So to summarize, a few key things I've learned from the curriculum at UVA is that computer science is difficult but rewarding at the same time. 
there will be highs and there will be lows. Sometimes you'll want to tear out your hair because of some bug that you can't figure out. But then, on the other hand, you'll complete assignments and projects and feel really great about doing those. Actually, during my third year at UVA, I really felt burnt out. I did not want to code at all, but I stuck through it. Now, that's not to say if you are not passionate about it, if you have no interest in it at all, then you should continue and just crank it out because you really shouldn't. You should probably just switch majors. But computer science is not coding. It's systematic problem solving. And the problem solving techniques that you learn throughout the curriculum helps you to not only get software development jobs, but other jobs in the future. Now, typically, UVA CS students end up as developers, but some of my friends have ended up as project managers, scrum masters, tech consultants, and in jobs that have nothing to do with computer science. So if you're gonna stick it through to the end, I wish the best of luck to you, because it's one heck of a ride. If you'd like me to talk more specifically about different facets at UVA, such as social life, engineering department, or etc., be sure to comment down below. Make sure to also like and subscribe for videos like this in the future. Alright, that's it for now. Peace!